Hi guys, uh, uh, I'm again in front of you. Today's topic is alopecia areata. We will be discussing the same thing like uh, I will give you uh, information on alopecia areata and treatment of alopecia areata. Before going to the topic, I will uh, avoid to discuss technical things, te technical uh, terminology on alopecia areata. We'll be, we, will, we will be discussing uh, hair losses like uh, we have been discussing hair losses on in multiple videos. I've been uh, telling you about pattern losses uh, in male gender and pattern losses in female gender and reasons of hair fall in male gender are totally different and reasons uh, behind female hair losses are totally different. As we discuss more than 80% of the cases in male uh, uh, losses they are androgenetic alopecia and female hair losses they 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 have different reasons like anemia like thyroid diseases like uh, uh, polycystic ovaries we have been discussing many things but today's topic is alopecia areata what we see in alopecia areata is like a patchy baldness a spotted baldness baldness you will see a spots in the a scalp and or like a, uh, it can be like an eyebrows like in uh, in male gender it can be seen in the beard or it can be involving whole body like what we call is alopecia totalis but what uh, you see is uh, spotted or uh, patchy uh, losses in different areas like it can appear in the uh, scalp in both genders like in female hair losses or male hair, male hair losses you see uh, like coin type spots like coin type patches and coin could be like of smaller size or, or it could be like of bigger size uh, the thing is when we uh, discuss alopecia areata you should be uh, reacting uh, uh, quickly to the uh, disease when we when you see uh, uh, patchy hair losses in any uh, uh, part of the body like in a scalp especially or in the uh, eyebrows or like in beard in like uh, uh, male gender you should be quickly responding to the disease and going to see your hair restoration surgeon why why i suggest you to go to hair restoration surgeon because in modern day science as, as, in, uh, I, I have uh, told you multiple times that hair restoration surgeon who been certified by American Board of Hair Restoration Surgery like ABHRS I've been discussing with you uh, multiple times to go to the ABHRS qualified doctors for certain reasons we have been a uh, lots of discussion on this topic that why we should be why you should be going to the abhrs qualified doctors because they have certain knowledge on the topic on hair follicle they have a good bulk of knowledge on hair follicle uh, he he is a good doctor to, to treat you on hair fall diseases like if you are having some pattern losses you are having female hair losses you are having hair losses at any type of age like in, in teenagers like in 20s and 30s or in 40s your solution could be uh, like with the hair restoration surgeon who is qualified by abhrs and i suggest you i suggest you again and again to find a good doctor to choose a good doctor for yourself for the, these kind of treatments for alopecia areata if you if the disease appears like uh, 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 in any part of the body like in a scalp beard or eyebrows you should be contacting your doctor and he will be uh, suggesting you uh, the exact treatment at exact time and it is believed to be like autoimmune disorder and what I what I can suggest to you is to find a good doctor for the treatment and he will be letting you know about the treatments but in this case of alopecia areata 
your response should be very quick to find a doctor for you and find a good doctor for you because if you put delays in this kind of syndrome in this disease what would happen it can spread to the whole body it can spread to the whole scalp eyebrows eyelashes beard in case of male gender and axillary hair arms everybody uh, uh, the whole body will be involved you feel the hair losses and it could be permanent if if you put delays in this uh in 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 response to the this disorder what you will find is involvement of the whole body or otherwise it could be permanent loss but in early days of uh, diagnosis and early days of treatment if you go to a good doctor he will treat you in uh a, a, in a proper manner and you will get rid of the disease and treatment prognosis in this disease in alopecia areata is very very good and uh, what i see in my practice is more than 90% of the cases they get treated in first go and they and the hair can come uh, after 90 to 120 days of treatment and you can retain this anagen phase of hair follicle forever and you can get rid of this alopecia areata forever but your quick response to the hair restoration surgeon is needed so i will i will uh, introduce myself at the end of this video as i do uh, uh, in every video my i'm dr rana irfan i'm abhrs qualified i'm diplomat of uh, american board of hair restoration surgery i'm hair restoration surgeon in this uh, vegas clinic islamabad i'm board of directors uh, uh, in american board of hair restoration surgery and i'm examiner in hair uh, restoration surgery board abhrs and i would suggest it, it's not it's not me uh, to whom you can come but you should be going to a good doctor and how can you choose a good doctor for yourself go to the abhrs website and find a good doctor over there in your own part of world in your own region thank you very much